Ranking the best outside linebackers in Madden 24. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be updating outside linebackers. Now, before we get into the new cards, we do got to go ahead and re-rank the old ones. Now, for S tier, I think Micah Parsons has to drop down. Uh, we do have two Micah Parsons right here. That's my fault on that. I want Demarcus Ware and Shaq Barrett to stay. I want Daniil Hunter to stay in this A tier as well. And we're going to drop down Micah Parsons like this and then everyone else down a singular tier. And for pass coverage, players uh we didn't really get a lot today but something i just want to point out with that new lurk artist ability uh dave robinson is even more insane but does hurt uh jok right here and also like tj edwards i'm going to drop tj edwards into d and then jock into like maybe b but i'm gonna go ahead and just say in the c tier i really think the only like really good pass coverage outside linebacker we got right now is dave robinson and after that we get it started with nicholas morrow right here team of the week drop with 79 speed and that's really the big thing right just 79 speed with no pass rush as well just what does this card really do good he's six foot 216 and we look at his block shed that's 80 that's nice but again doesn't offer you any coverage doesn't offer you any pass rush my question is what does this card do good and his traits for everything only has the finesse move traits on yes so i guess a positive he's only going to use 52 finesse moves and of course uh nicholas morrow gonna go in this f tier right after that we get alex anzalone still 80 speed which just really isn't that great has 79 play rec he's six foot three 241 again offers you no pass rush but has 75 zone 72 man with that speed being a pass coverage player i just don't think it's great and for traits this time has play ball on air conservative as well we're looking for aggressive so for me alex anzalone also going to go in this f tier after that we get 82 overall dj wanham right here with 77 speed 80 acceleration he has 84 power moves this time which actually isn't that bad 67 finesse moves a little bit lower block should for sure not a pass coverage player and for traits this time only has the bull rush trade on yes which is actually really nice for this card we can essentially block out this finesse move rating because he only has the bull rush one-on-one -on -one spin and swim on no he's gonna go ahead and only use his 84 power move rating which honestly not a bad budget option for me dj wanham is actually gonna go ahead and uh d or c for me I'm gonna put him C kind of by like Odefa Owe. I don't mind that. Again, pretty solid budget option. And right after that, we get Xavier Collins right here with 82 speed, 83 acceleration. He's six foot four, 260, and doesn't offer you anything as a pass rusher. And 75 zone, 71 man coverage. For me, again, just the speed really isn't there for the pass coverage players to really be good. They either need like crazy speed with crazy coverage, or they need that lurk artist ability. And he doesn't get either, but he does have play ball and air aggressive. So this, so this is a card like in the future. Say he gets like a 90 overall or potentially like a 95 like way way down the road i think he's actually gonna be really good with that six foot four height someone in the future that i think is going to be a beast but for right now he's also gonna go in the f tier and now right after that we got sion taki taki right here with 84 speed 88 acceleration he's six foot one 238 again offers you nothing as a pass rusher and offers you nothing from a coverage standpoint so again what does this card really do good? And if we look at traits and everything, only the bull rush trade on yes, play ball on air balance. Again, just really doesn't do anything on the football field, right? So Sion Taki Taki for me is also gonna go in the F tier. Now we got Corey Littleton right here of the unstoppable promo with 84 speed, 83 acceleration. Again, offers you nothing as a pass rusher. He's six foot three. And from a coverage standpoint, once again, offers you nothing as a coverage player. I mean, block shed's good, but we can get so many better people that actually offer you pass rush or also coverage with a higher block shed rate and traits play ball and air balance uh for me Corey littleton is also going to go ahead go in the f tier and right after that we get a potential free option right here with malcolm rodriguez of the hispanic heritage uh program and how you get this card you play his solos you get his 82 overall and you get an upgrade token by completing objectives in the hispanic heritage month objectives and he can go from an 82 to an 86 and an 86 overall he has 87 speed 89 acceleration doesn't offer you anything as a pass rusher and doesn't offer you anything as a coverage player but actually like the physical stats i mean i i can't really hype up this card too much also play ball air conservative from an ability standpoint he can go ahead and potentially get lurker but again lurker to me kind of is just like eh, now because we get lurk artists so he is a free lurker linebacker i think again i just have to have him f he just doesn't have any pass rush and he also doesn't have any coverage i don't really care about the speed i just think he really doesn't offer you anything and right to that we get 87 overall joe tryon right here with 83 speed 86 acceleration six foot five 259 
line has 87 finesse moves which is really nice block shit a little bit lower and if we look at traits has all three pass rush traits on yes this is a card i don't know if you guys play regs a lot but in regs this dude is like a monster as well uh joe tryon for me i actually kind of like him i again i'm gonna go ahead and have him in the c tier i think he is pretty solid don't quite think he's beyond this uh demarcus Ware, just given like traits and everything maybe could see the argument for a b maybe could but for me gonna be in the c tier and right after that we got dolphins great jalen phillips right here with 85 speed 87 acceleration 6 foot 5 260 87 finesse moves is nice 79 power moves i just like seeing it in the 80s so this isn't like the worst in the world it's obviously not the best either but with these physical stats those finesse moves i think it's pretty solid 82 block shit as well for sure a pass rusher not a pass coverage player and for traits has all three pass rush traits on yes for me jalen phillips i actually really like the card not just because he's a dolphin but i am also going to go ahead have him in the b tier i think he is a really solid rusher in the game and right after that we get 87 overall cornelius bennett covering his 87 and his 90 overall card this card has 86 speed 81 acceleration so again pretty good uh, physical stats six foot three 240 pass rush standpoint has 87 power moves 75 finesse moves has 88 block shed 87 impact blocking and again for sure a pass rusher not a pass coverage player and for trace has all three pass has actually every trait you would want on yes on yes it's just his pass rush is a little bit lacking with finesse moves and this card from an ability standpoint doesn't really get anything crazy i mean he can get lurker as well but again not a pass coverage player uh for me i think he is very similar to jalen phillips i'm also putting him in the b tier i'm not gonna lie when this card first got revealed i think i slept on him a little bit shaquille leonard this time six foot two 215 86 speed 83 acceleration so pretty good physical stats 82 finesse moves 55 power moves so not the best pass rush in the world but i like the physical stats and they actually stat uh shaquille leonard like he can play football with colts linebackers they usually give him no pass rush no manners on like we covered with previous cards but 90 block shed 90 impact blocking as well and for traits only the finesse move traits on yes so he's only going to use this 82 finesse moves too with that block shed with that impact blocking i actually really like this card again for me he's going to be on the same tiers like jalen phillips and them but i actually like him maybe even a little bit more than jalen oh that might be a bad take but uh, i actually really like these guys i like both of these guys and you could potentially get them both for free with your bnd choices from each promo all right and right after that we get khalil mack right here with 87 speed 85 acceleration six foot three 260 has 93 strength 81 finesse moves 89 power moves with good block shed good impact blocking as well khalil mack cards are usually always really really balanced and for sure a pass rusher not a pass coverage player for traits everything you would want on yes on yes now also from an ability standpoint can get double or nothing can get unpredictable i think this khalil mack card is really really good for me he's joining like shaq leonard uh, demarcus wearing lt and s tier i really like all four of these cards and right after that we get quincy williams with 88 speed 89 acceleration he's 5 foot 11 this time offers you nothing as a pass rusher from a zone cover standpoint 74 zone as well i get the speed is okay but no pass rush also no manner zone they said this card really really awful and from trade standpoint has play ball and air aggressive which is nice the big thing though is the fact that this card does not get lurk artist which basically makes him just useless as a pass coverage player in my opinion he also has 91 jump too but it's an arc type thing because the run stopper he just doesn't get it i think that's a dumb thing i have to put him f tier man a 90 overall in the f tier just because he can't play manner zone and he also can't rush the passer so for me i just think he's really not useful on the football field and right after that we got matthew judon with 87 speed 89 acceleration he's six foot three and has 88 play rec 84 strength 90 power moves is great um the finesse moves are low like they kind of they kind of started him a little bit bad also the block shed low as well like why are these and also the impact blocking can't make up for the block shed this time has the bull rush and the swim move trade on yes i'm glad matthew judon got an upgrade but like i mean man we can't up the finesse moves by two and like the block shed by five impact block. like if he just hit 80 80 and 80 i'd for sure put him probably s tier but this card with his traits and everything man i think he is top in the b tier and i would rather use the neil hunter would rather use micah parsons uh, mcs card over this one uh maybe with his uh physical stats Ooh, you know what I'll, I'll lean a tier actually i'll lean a tier and now we get field pass micah parsons people are starting to get this card right here with 89 speed 90 acceleration has 91 finesse moves 83 power moves but with, with great block shed pretty decent impact blocking as well and when we look at traits has all three pass rush traits on yes now from an ability standpoint i uh, can get things like edge strike can get lurker can get unpredictable can also get a unique x factor uh dual threat right here now the x factor doesn't start on or anything but michael parsons this card is insane for me he's like top into this s tier he's the reason why mcs michael parsons just had to come down uh literally literally uh you can still argue that he's also s tier and i wouldn't say you're wrong and final card of the video right here we got aka cornelius 
Bennett with 88 speed, 84 acceleration, 93 strength, 90 play rec. Great power moves. The finesse moves are low. The block shed impact blocking though are phenomenal. Like 90s across the board besides finesse moves is actually still pretty good and has the same traits as before. Now from an X Factor standpoint can get relentless and run stuffer. Run stuffer for one AP. I don't think it's like the worst in the world. I'll be honest. You could potentially get three of these for one AP. That's actually kind of nasty. I'll be honest, but also it gets relentless right here. We're actually like this one too. It makes their pass rush moves free. And from an ability standpoint, he can get things like double or nothing pick cards on the defensive line, even El Toro. I like the card. I like the card. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think he's S tier. I think he's top in his A tier. I would rather use everyone in S over him. Maybe you can argue the AKA X factors make him S tier. And I guess I could see that argument. But for me, I'm putting him top in of A. And yeah, y'all, this has been my updated thoughts on uh, outside linebackers in Madden 24. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? And if you guys did enjoy this video, you enjoy content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay up to date with the best cards in Madden. And if you guys want to watch me use some of these cards live, I have been streaming over here on YouTube and all also Twitch around 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time. I'd love to see y'all pop into some streams. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch though and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I rank the best middle linebackers in Madden 24.